All right, we back for another week of AI news. A lot of things happened in the past week, but of course the biggest news is I am here at Computex. I will make you like me first. Yeah, say sing it with me. I really This is the part. This is the part. Like and really yeah. All right. It's all NVIDIA. When I look to the left, it's NVDA. When I look to the right, it's Jensen Huang. There was no escape from NVIDIA on the headline. Last week, he was first spotted in Taiwan's night market before he made his first big appearance in National Taiwan University's graduation to deliver a speech about his story in NVIDIA and how NVIDIA nearly failed three times, which was a really good story. The speech is in English, so you can check it out. All link will be in the description, by the way. And he made an in-person speech, first time in four years at Computex Taipei as the NVIDIA CEO. In this speech, he talked about H100, he demoed an in-game NPC with a background story and can create unique conversation. Let's actually take a quick look here. Hey Jen, how are you? Unfortunately, not so good. How come? I am worried about the crime around here. My ramen shop got caught in the crossfire. Can I help? If you want to do something about this, I have heard rumors that the powerful crime lord Kuman Aoki is causing all sorts of chaos in the city. I'll talk to him. Where can I find him? I have heard he hangs out in the underground fight clubs on the city's east side. Okay. I'll go. Be careful, Kai. And a brand new NVIDIA CPU, not GPU, and it's called CPU Grace. Linus covered it, you can check it out. And there's so much more new stuff, and if you're interested, you should just check it out yourself. And before, people proposed Magma to replace Fang, but now, since NVIDIA is going super crazy, we now have Manga. And while NVIDIA's stock is going to the moon because of its extremely well-earning report, this fake AI image of the Pentagon getting bombed crashed the market briefly. Coincidence? I don't really know. Microsoft Build 2023 event also happened last week. Maybe it got overshadowed by NVIDIA. And the main attraction is the Windows Copilot, which is a Windows app that helps you use your PC. They also announced Bing chat plugins, Bing in ChatGPT, and Andre Karpathy's talk about GPT assistant training pipeline, some good practices, and LLM psychology. Photoshop added generative tool that can help you outpaint or in-paint. This late adaption of this toolkit and the censorship that the generative tool has got people memeing. And more large language model papers. This one talks about language models making tools. And the joke about this is that it's a Google paper, but it's using GPT. And there's this new open source LLM that beat in the Hugging Face open source LLM benchmark. And this new LLM is called Falcon 40B published by Technology Innovation Institute. Then there is this large language model that is trained on the dark web. On the other hand, there's this language model talking about how using data from good LLM like GPT-4 to fine tune a weaker LLM which results in a kind of imitation models and that quote, imitation models close little to none of the gap from the base language model to chat GPT on tasks that are not heavily supported in the imitation data. So basically what that means is that fine tuned weak models models are still bad, it's just good at imitating and bypassing the evaluations, it still has weak capabilities, especially in the domain that is outside of the fine-tuned data. RIP Online Job Interviews, this AI tool enables real-time transcriptions for both you and the speaker. It can then generate a perfect response for the user to answer questions based on the live conversation from the interviewer. This new research uses deep learning and plaque analysis to catch potential heart attacks. Wonder Dynamics that converts humans in a video into a 3D figure with very accurate masking and in painting went viral. And the video looks like a robot is in a slapping competition with a human. Neuralink got their first FDA approval for human clinical study. An even higher fidelity mind reading paper that decodes visual brain waves was published. The results look even better. The Coca Cola ad that I showed you in the first episode got a behind the scenes video and looks so high budget. And there's a diffusion model that is not text based. It's called Prompt free diffusion and does not rely on clip or text to generate images so i'm guessing that this is a reference based image generation this is great for image generation uses that doesn't need text at all because text sometimes can influence image generation in the wrong way voyager which is a research that's incorporating gpt4 into playing minecraft is able to continuously explore the world acquire diverse skills and make novel discoveries without human intervention it is able to achieve this thanks to its three main components automatic 
curriculum that maximizes exploration, a retrievable skill library which stores any learned complex behaviors, and an interactive prompting mechanism like AutoGPT that seeks for errors, feedbacks, and improvements. In the benchmark, there is an obvious difference between a skill library being available or not, and only with a skill library, the AI is then able to obtain diamond tools. Another comparison was made with AutoGPT, which shows how efficient Voyager is at solving general tasks within Minecraft. Deepfake is getting crazier too. This is metaphysic.ai and this is not Tom Cruise and not sponsored. It looks so real that only when obstructing the phase was the only giveaway that it's deep fake and not the real Tom Cruise. <laughs> oh god. Then there is this man that wears a towel and becomes a girl. <laughs> People are figuring out some crazy image to image video workflows too. And to end today's episode, here's a Laura for generating open post figures. This is so meta, I love it. And if you also love today's episode of the AI Timeline. Leave a like and subscribe to see more and I'll see y'all in the next one.